This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Conceptual energy analysis needs several things for you to be able to perform it in Revit MEP. The first of these is a subscription account with Autodesk and also the ability to log in to subscription services, i.e. an internet connection. If you don't have either of these, then this exercise is not for you, as you won't be able to perform it. The next thing that is essential is a mass model. So assuming that you have the first two things, let's start with a mass model, which is normally the domain of the architect. Here, in my 3D view, I have already have a mass model, but what I want to do with this is I'm going to delete it and start again. I created the mass model using the linked Revit architecture model as a basis. Let's take a look at how that's done. Go to level 1, and from this point I want to trace off the building outline using the massing tools. The massing tools are found on the Architects tab. This is one of the rare occasions where I'll actually recommend using in-place objects as we're working on a building form here. So click on the in-place mass tool, you'll more than likely get this dialog box displaying that Revit has enabled the show mass mode, so the newly created mass will be visible. It's worthwhile just pointing out that masses will not print or export unless you make the mass category permanently visible in the view visibility graphics dialog box. So although we'll be able to see the mass, it will not print. OK, so we're going to call this mass 1. And now I'm just going to trace around the building outline. I'm not going to be too careful at this point because I can come back at a later stage and align these lines to the face of the building. So I'm just going to trace around here very quickly. And you can see here, fairly untidily. But as I said, we can come back and tidy this up as much as we want to. The whole idea behind the energy analysis is we're doing this at a very early stage of the project. With a continuous line created, I'm going to go back to my 3D view. Here I will go to Visibility Graphics and uncheck the architectural model so that you can see the building outline. If I select this and then select Create Form, this will give us a rough form for the building. Let's stick Visibility Graphics back on so that we can actually see the architectural model. I'll orientate the 3D view to the front and then stretch using the grips the mass so that it actually matches the building. And then finish the mass. Now, let's go back to visibility graphics and turn off the linked Revit architectural model. Now we have a blank form. What I need to do with this is create some mass floors. We know that we have three levels here. And click OK. This mass object is now going to become the focus of my energy analysis.